we talk a lot here about Ironman football and being proud of the fact that we play both ways. Conditioning is a huge component for us. It's been a successful off season at Sebring. Numbers are up with nearly 30 players for Coach Seidel, now in his second season as the head man. He returns six starters on offense with a new quarterback this season. Senior Dylan Johnson replaces three-year starter Zane Peterson. We're looking to surround Dylan with some playmakers and get him the ball in space and see what they can do. Our team speed is better than it's ever been before. That speed is highlighted by the Frederick twins. Junior receivers Elijah and Noah Frederick are both a big play waiting to happen. Plus, senior wideout Cody Horning also returns as a second team all MVAC performer last season. I think we're going to be better. We got a lot of new linemen. We got a lot more people coming to just the preseason workouts this year. We're way ahead of where we were last year. A lot of teams don't take us seriously. And I think that would change. Everyone's grown. We've got a lot better. I think we can do it. We're probably the hardest working team out of you know everybody in our conference. We're just trying to make history. We try to improve every single day. The history they're chasing is a postseason berth. After decades of Sebring football, the Trojans are still searching for their first trip to the playoffs. The buy-in to the program's never been higher. You know, it'd just be a really cool experience for them to be able to be the first team in school history to make the playoffs. So the Trojans go for history once again this season, and they have quite a favorable schedule to start. Week one is at home here against Latonia. Then they're on the road at Southington and Matthews, two teams that they beat last season. For now, Chase Evans reporting in Sebring for Sports Team 27.